All right, I've been really excited to make this video. It's been about a month in the making. You read the title correctly. I'm selling some original watercolor tattoo flash for only $5. These are actual paintings, not prints, and I put a lot of work into them, so I'm excited to share them with everyone. All right, so let's get started. There are five designs in this series. I'm gonna go through them one by one and kind of explain what each of them are and give you a little bit of backstory on why I chose them and everything. First up, we have a very classic Classic traditional dagger. I chose this mostly because I've been doing a lot of dagger tattoos lately, so I was kind of inspired to do that. I feel like it's pretty representative of my recent work. And it's just a classic readable design that just screams that it's a tattoo design. It's not something obscure where people are gonna have to like wonder. It's very, very obvious. It's designed to be a tattoo. That's why I went with that one for number one. Number two is another classic design, very traditional. It's a hand holding playing card cards with the suits of the cards displayed. It's coming out of a six-sided die. Most of them have the number 34 displayed at the bottom. I just needed to put a number there. So I was like, oh, I'm 34, I'll put 34 on there. There's a variant on this. This one has 16. Third up is another very classic traditional tattoo image. It's an eagle with an anchor and a banner. The banner reads SLO or slow, which is the town I live in, San Luis Obispo. I just wanted to pick another very obvious tattoo image that is not gonna be mistaken that it's for any other reason than to be tattoo flash. Number four is a love letter being held by a hand with a bird and a banner. The banner reads love. There is one variant of this specific design, one of the paintings says slow in the banner just to change it up a little bit and make some of them a little more rare. So if you get that slow one, you'll know it's the only one. And last but not least, this is my favorite of the series. This is a profile of a woman's head wearing a mask. This was originally designed by a tattoo artist named Amun Dietzel. I'm not sure what year he came up with this design, but I do know that he started his tattooing career in 1907. So this could be anywhere from the 1920s to 1930s possibly. Tried to figure it out, I'm not really sure. If you know, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what year this was painted and the sheet that it came from because I'm really curious about that. But this is such a striking image. It's something that I've wanted to paint or or tattoo for a long time and nobody's ever gotten it tattooed by me and I, I haven't painted it. So I thought it would be perfect for this series. It's super readable, high contrast. Even though it's a very old tattoo design, it's had a resurgence in the last last 10 years or so and a lot of people have been doing this design and it holds up so well. It's just extremely timeless and so I'm really really stoked on how these came out. It's a slightly simplified version because the original had so much extra detail and when I shrunk it down I had to eliminate some of those details but for the most part it you take a glance at it and it's obvious that it's that design. So that's it for the five different variations of the designs on the paintings. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the runs of them and the mediums that they are. Each design is painted 10 times, five in color and five in black and gray. The paintings are on Arches hot press watercolor paper and mounted to wooden blocks. I painted the wooden blocks using black tattoo ink by Waverly, which I thought was just an extra little kind of cool tattoo connection to incorporate in that. So when you get the painting that's mounted on the block, you'll know that the black around the edges is tattoo ink. The base of the paintings have a label with my name and the back has a another label which talks about what the painting is, the fact that it's watercolor on hot press board, and then the limited number on the back. So it'll either say one of 50 or it'll say 28 of 50 or whatever it is. The wooden blocks that they're mounted on measure roughly two by three inches by seven eighths of an inch thick. And there's a very good reason for that size. It's exactly the same size as a pack of cigarettes and that'll make a lot of sense once I start talking about where you can buy them, which I might as well just get into right now. These are going to be available at a very limited location. They're going to be in a vending machine that is operated by a company called Artomat. Now, Artomat is a company that takes old 
unused cigarette vending machines from the, anywhere from the 1950s to 1980s, and they repurposed them to vend art. It's such a great idea. Uh, once I heard about this company and knew that there was a machine locally, I really wanted to design something to have sold in their machine. They have them all over the country. You can check on their map on their website, which I'll link below and see if they have a machine in your town. It's such a great idea. So I'm really, really happy to be a part of it and, and that they accepted my prototype and are on board for me selling my artwork through them. The kicker is everything that's sold in that machine is $5. So it doesn't matter if it's a little craft that comes in a box or it's a painting like this. Everybody's art is sold for $5. So that's what these are gonna be available for. Even though I put a lot more time and work into it and I feel they're worth a lot more than that, I kind of wanted to give back and be like, yeah, you can own something that I made for five bucks. The specific machine where these paintings are going to be available is here in San Luis Obispo at a place called the Farmhouse Corner Market, which is located on Broad Street near the airport. They have a machine in their market side of their store. I believe what you do is you purchase a token from the cashier and that token then you put in the machine and you can vend one of the paintings. The day I'm posting this video is the day that these paintings that I'm holding right here are gonna be in the actual machine at Farmhouse. And so you can go over there right after watching this. And if you are the first one there, you can buy one. I think they're gonna stock it 10 at a time. Hopefully you're one of the first 10 people to get over there and try to buy one. Since this is a run of 50 paintings, they'll be restocking it. I'm not sure when, I'll try to post maybe on my Instagram when you can get over there and buy them. Oh, oh, oh okay, here's the best part. One of the paintings is going to have a golden ticket for a free tattoo by me. So if you happen to go spend five bucks by a painting, it might have a little golden ticket in it saying that you want a tattoo. And if you do, go ahead and get a hold of me and we'll make it happen as soon as possible. It's just one like little extra thing that I kind of wanted to give back. And and uh, I always like that idea of like the Willy Wonka golden ticket. So I was like, ah, step it up a little bit and throw one of those in there. So yeah, good luck. If you get it, awesome. I can't wait to tattoo you. If you don't enjoy the painting, any of you that buy it and if you don't just thanks for watching this video i'm going to be making more of them regularly so go ahead and click subscribe down below if you like the video go ahead and like it and that's pretty much it leave a comment below if you have any questions or any input you wanted to share i don't know anyway all right yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace